It's been 47 days and still no answers in the death of a young father. And tonight, dozens of people gathered in Jacksonville calling for accountability. First Coast News' Julia Janae has been following this story. She joins us live with the group's plans. Julia? Jessica, their plan is to hold a rally on the streets of Jacksonville on April 21st. Their message included in this flyer that they were passing out, all stemming from the shooting death of 31 year old DJ Broadus in McClinney. They also have concerns about the vague police report that is attached to this case that only says that a man was killed and that the man escorted away from the scene. A son of a retired deputy was on scene at the time. The Jacksonville Community Action Committee says DJ Broadus's case is their new top priority. The day after the call, and this is weeks after DJ was killed. The grassroots group backed campaigns for Vernell Bing and Keegan Roberts. The state attorney's office found insufficient evidence in those two cases to file charges. No one's talking. It's just. It's just a wait process. A Broadus family friend, Anita Baker, is from the McClenney area, where Broadus was found dead near a home on Southern State's Nursery Road. Here uh, uh, on Super Bowl night that DJ was killed in McClenney, it was just flabbergasting. I would have never in a million years thought for once, why was he out there? She, along with 50 others, first held town halls in Baker County last month. First one, they had about 135 people and a little over 100 at the second one. Very energetic. They had a lot to say, but very reluctant because they feel that they're going to be retaliated against. Now they're taking their calls to action to DJ Broadus' home city. Some of them came out just for my son because some of them knew my son, so that was really helpful and that was really, that was really heartwarming for me. DJ Broaddus' father, Dominic Broaddus Sr., says the support is encouraging, especially from those parents he says have similar circumstances. Justice for DJ and a lot of other DJs out there. FDLE is the agency that is primary on this investigation. It's not uncommon for them not to release any details until they are done with their investigation. We did ask a spokesperson whether they could confirm if self-defense was a claim that had been raised in this case. They said that they will not answer that question until the case is no longer active. For now, reporting live, Julia Janae, First Coast News, on your side.